Onivia League of Legends highlights. LPL players round two. NIP versus Team WE game one. Which is one of the most weak side available weak side lanes that you can think. This is summer weather. Is it pool party? Rexai up top as well. You'd hope so. Bit of jet ski action. Looks like first strike going to be kicked off already here by WE. We saw a reset coming out from Photic, so an opportunity there for WE, and they are more than happy to capitalize on that WE. We expect leads from NIP in these early games. That is kind of the the identity that they've shown us over the course of this year. Whether or not they're able to find it, though, is a different question. I wonder, he could have been stunned up. There's the chain CC we were talking about, and I wonder, cut down where he stands. WE had all the vision control in the world, and they still on can't... on 4v4 at this point, top laners neither uh, in the area, but Shanji has that TP available, looks like. Not going to be willing to pull the trigger, though. And the rocket just a tiny bit too early, so pretty really much even <sighs> game up. With WE getting those first two drakes as well, it's a Hextech soul. This is a really great start to the series for WE. It is, and by and large, if an early game is quite being put down in mid lane, WE with presence in mid lane and the bot jungle, they should be in prime position to take themselves a jungle unless NIP can find themselves a clutch and gauge. I mean, there's no way, right? Photic has to reset off the huge chunk before a fight is even thought about for NIP. Drake starts now by WE. Oh, it is Hex Soul though. So actually Photic getting back on the map a lot quicker than you'd expect. He is using the Hex but now Shanji's caught out. Oh, Shanji, that's not the place to be. Dominus flash slice and dice, but he's electrocuted to death. Stay finding that kill, and NIP's got to try and find something. NIP really forcing this because Fofo has stayed in the mid lane trying to get that tier two. Wayward could be the target as Juo tries to get onto him, but he just tunnels away. Aki goes back on the Drake, and look at this the rotation from WE. They trade the third Drake in the game and get a tier two instead in the mid lane. Down to split second decision making. And how well these teams can play the match. Juo potentially caught out of position here. Quickness going to be used, and the pillar denies the dive stay with another and the gold onto zeri is perfect for we oh considering how much of a fall off we had towards the end nash's is here and the trundle they're checking with the jinx rocket they'll know this is happening but that's about it that was a replay that was a replay they've already checked with the jinx rocket it's on cooldown here which means the we they're just gonna steal this it's daylight robbery it's 21 minutes on the clock and we are just taking baron without any hope of a contest from NIP. Aki is so drunk, Baron taken down, and Aki's gone through a hex gate. Oh, this is an absolute disaster for NIP. Aki flies over the wall. He's trying to get an execute at this point. I think that's all he can hope for. I don't think he's going to get away with it, though. Iwandi should be able to get at least an auto in. And Aki, nowhere to go. And that's with Drake spawning in 50 as well. Oh, normally it's ninja. It's only Fofo with TP available. I don't know how much you really want Azir on the back line, <laughs> flanking, to be honest, as Drake started by WE. Stun's come through onto Wayward, but he just tunnels away to the rest of his team. And that's Aki and Shanti both having used their ultimates at this point. NIP, I don't know how you even start it. a fight. He gets it anyway. Who needs a fight? Aki's got oh, smite. The wave clear from NIP's composition isn't great either. They only have the Jinx, which means Ooh. that WE has a bit of difficulty, but now Stay getting caught out. So Rookie used his ultimate Stay, both of his summoners being used there as well. Not entirely sure what happened. Holding NIP in place while they take one of the objectives. They get that one for free. They don't want to contest with this one, if at all possible. And then they'll go right back towards the Baron proper to see if they can finish off this game. And we get to see another one of the big strengths in the of this <laughs> wayward. <laughs> it's a void battle! Greg Sai, <laughs> the queen of the void, up against the Baron itself. Uh, I'm not sure this is a 1v1 <laughs> that wayward will win. Uh, but, you know, back to Oh, here it comes! Now gets a double knock-up for the engage. It's too easy for WE. They just walk forward slowly, and NIP fall to pieces immediately. The one one between the Queen of the Zersite and the Baron itself. It's going to be the full team issue. NIP, they got one more clutch. What can Ricky do? Nothing. Yeah. I mean, he's 1v5 in that situation. Everything just is green lights are go for them. This Warhorse, much happier than the musical, it has to be said. <laughs> He's over the moon with how this one is going, and I don't blame him because he's only game one. 
Got a whole best of five ahead of them. But it's a great little start for Rookie. Finds the angle. Stay. They get him. And taken down. Foti getting the resets as he tries to hammer through Wayward's health bar. He dives back into the fight using that ultimate to survive. But he's down. Another reset. The pillar stops Foti charging forwards. And Fofo is scary. Foti, you've got to be cautious. Fofo punishes the misposition. And WE stay on top. That is as good as it gets, Red IP. And I imagine that's all they're gonna get in this game. It's a two for one, all things said and done, but with the Jinx down and no tools left for Rookie, W. Bit of a blunder from Fotic at the end there, to be honest. I think they could maybe defend the inhib if he doesn't die. But a huge moment for Rookie. As this Yone finds his moment, but I don't know if he's gonna get another golden opportunity like that, realistically, to stay. It's going to be our best behavior from this point on in the game because if he gets caught out like that again, the fans at home are not going to be happy. They don't have Baron, and the supers are a long way away. If you look at the minimap, the supers, the first set two, just get past the tier one. Ah, uh, Rookie tries to make it happen again. That might be enough. Maybe you don't need supers after all. With Rookie going down, Knockup comes out onto Shanji. Wayward's kind of low, uses that ultimate to survive, flashes back to the rest of his team. Shanji barely walks away with his own life as Fotic gets back on the fountain. But with the Nexus Towers down, WE have done it in slow, controlled fashion. They choke out NIP in game one. This was hexing composition from NIP. NIP do versus Team WE, in game two. Let's dive in. Not to mention that. Hung presses his ult, everyone's punted away. I want the presses his ult, everyone's punted <laughs> away. Like, if you're Maybe all trying to... John is not there or someone's out of position, and you can get onto the board. The problem is, um, I want he is already out onto the map. It's always dangerous when I want he's onto the board here. Oh, he's going straight into Rookie. Trouble. Tether's gonna come on through, but he gets the flick back, and here's Dro. Suddenly, it's Iwandi that's taken down. Aki with first blood. Couldn't be better for an IP. An IP. The rumble be very happy to just keep pushing in. We've seen some pretty good rumble recently. Oh. We might just see it again as Wayward is being dove, but the knockup comes through. Disaster for Shanji goes one for one, but Wayward answers. It to, once he backs it out, it gets towards 60% you know, shred or, or something like that. It's an incredible amount of shred when it comes through. So I don't think that Wayward will be able to do that much. Here comes Rookie. Oh, Rookie's dived into this play. He's going to be rooted up. The equalizer's there, but Hung is the one to go down. Burnt to a crisp. Finish off photo key for once a piece of the action from the rocket. To be honest, you're playing Azari <sighs> versus the Jinx. I say even though, stay actually managing to get on towards a second play here as Votic. Tries to move up, but I want these here too. Flame Choppers come down and he does get one, but the knockup lands. Votic's in trouble. TP it's being rookie. channeled as somebody has to get in amongst this one, but it's Votic who's going to go down. Stay with the kill. Now a knockup comes out from Joel. Can Rookie answer? But I don't think so. Stay. It's going to do more than stay. He's going to dominate in this bottom lane. Now maybe a re-dive as Hung enters the scene as well. Joel gonna have to try and protect his mid lane. Help onto the minion. Onto the minion. It's not quite underneath the tower though. Stay takes a tower shot. Fofo goes under. Hung knocks Rookie out into the mix. But Hung in the meantime sets it all up. It's two and another rocket goes wide. Oh, it was to Q instead. Iwandi now spotting out that this straight is happening. NIP will take it and I think Iwandi might pay with his life for even looking in this situation, but no. Rookie couldn't quite get the flick back. What well, Iwandi will walk away with. Well, you have to build your hex plate and then you're just ulting on cooldown. It's not even that case for uh, Nocturne with this current build. So NIP, they need to be uh, hitting these these ultimates home a lot more hard. Now Stay gonna find a rookie outside of Fog of War. He's gonna jump over, pop the ults. <laughs> That's how you know you're fed on Zeri when you're looking for 1v1s with the enemy mid lane. And Shanji TP's in, and Aki's here too. And suddenly, it's not a 1v1 anymore. That's what happened to Rookie last game. Now Stay gets a taste of that medicine. Ah, uh, Stay. Uh, you know, I've actually been really happy with how Stay's been playing for a debut split coming from the LDL. Have to mention that, of course. He's coming in in place. He's crashing a wave in the mid lane, but I think Stay will be able to get to that tier one in time to catch this one. Oh, in fact, there isn't. I thought there was a wave behind his icon. There was not. I mean, <laughs> notwithstanding, because they're supports. Um, still, first time's coming through. One, and we've just oh, got the no. staff's completion. So you stay, getting caught again. No flash, oh. no ghost now either. Oh, God. It's just cyberbullying at this point. But Shanji maybe caught out, perhaps a punish? No. WE don't oh, commit to this. Find out this game. And IP do have tools to make things happen in this early game. Still 2,000 gold lead as a, a Herald slam down in the mid lane. Botic, I don't think, can defend this alone. Actually gets hit by the W and Flame Chopper's immediately underneath his own feet. 
Looks for a zap on to stay. Stay does have flash available Wayward. at this point. Engage kicks off, but Chuo knocked in. Wayward behind enemy lines and it's Votic to go down. One HP and actually the Rek'Sai's on the wrong target. Votic still alive here, but no, he's on both targets. Wayward with a double. Equalizer down. Are they going to commit to this one? Aki goes for his ult, but you can't go in on just that yet, one. though. Double are currently in a, in a bit of a salient. They're pushed into enemy lines. They're surrounded. We need to be very careful about that. The yep. ultimates from the NIP back up. Rookie still needs a few seconds before he's got that wall. The Drake gonna be down to 2k, they go in. It's smited by WE and full retreat. Looks like they will be able to get away with this one. Joel not gonna pull the trigger, but instead NIP move towards this mid lane. Ah, uh, it's a bit of a shame there from NIP that they can't get themselves a big um, advance towards that dragon. It would have been great to get themselves the early soul point. They are still gonna get themselves towards mid lane turret. They're going in. Quickness is going to be used as well. Hung knocked in. Crescent Guard can't save you when everyone's in melee range. Nice little pick off of the back of that play. The, the, little, me. the little Orn one as well. The yeah, Orn yeah. one looks like it's a Teemo or something. Yeah, the ult, okay, Ultimate here we go. Come on through. Knock up. Comes out onto Hung, but which time straight onto the back line. Aki threatening everyone. Equalizer down, but they've separated Hung from the rest of the gang. And Fofo burning Rocket in, but the shield protects him. Hung taken out. They're split. WE up. The shield comes on through, but the last auto monsoon is enough by Wandy. Saves his mid laner. So, Jana all down all the same, though. You can't use that to Stay as well. That should be enough to push WE away. But he would trying to threaten for the engage. Fofo is here as well. He reset. But the wall is going to keep a lot of this team away. Baron, the target. No jungler for WE, so it will be taken. But can NIP get away with it? Flash out of the pit as Wayward tries to get in. But he's flicked back now. The knock-up comes through, and Shanji burns him up. It's NIP with Baron and a bonus. Double. It's like that. Yeah. There's a classic corky play from TSM where they get a crit and it wins them the game. I'm not sure it would have won them the game, but this fight is it's a huge pick and the flame chompers stop any kind of escape. Fofo caught out and suddenly NIP, they're going from just taking Baron to pushing open the base. That they are, they can siege very well. The equalizers back up as well. The Electro Harpoon doing massive work as well. A single tap onto Hung. Taking down his HP bar as well. WE, they're backing off. They're giving one in here. They're not ready to fight just yet. But if they're not ready to fight right now, when are they? Well, I mean, maybe when Fofo comes back and alive as well. They need that karma back. But it's so hard for WE to defend their base. Wayward well, trying to hold the wave, but I'm not sure you can defend this one, buddy. And he will answer with his own life. Kraken Slayer coming on through to slay the Void Beast. Ultimate comes out from Aki just to threaten. Make sure that no engage can come on through. In fact, no, it's not just a threat. He is very willing to pull the trigger. Unless there's a fight in the next 20 seconds, which let's not count out. WE yeah, on the Drake. Five strong here as the wall comes behind enemy lines. The equalizer set up with it. Stay the target, but is stolen by NIP. Three Drakes now as Aki goes pretty deep for the play. Rookie is alone on the bottom side, and WE starts charging towards him, getting good damage out his Rookie, as he's managing to survive for so long. Finally taken down, but answered by Hung on the other side, and now WE on the wrong side of the map, and Votix rockets follow everyone, as Fofo desperately tries to hide in the brush, but not even hiding can save you now, Fofo. This is NIP taking over. Over. Game one could not look more different from game two. NIP strike back. Wayward falls, and that should be the victory lap for the ninjas in pajamas. He helped out the early game too much. Has the late game been as clean as the early game? No, WE focused him down a little bit more, but this time the rest of NIP stepped up to do the damage which Rookie couldn't do from the death chamber itself. It's not going to be the game, it's just damage. Itself. Um, as you're going to stack that up, but he's going for a, what, a Rantuan's fourth item beyond this point saying, yeah, I did not tank you. But, um, he's been a little bit lax this time. A lot of people in the club yeah. now, and NIP are starting to get boogie with it. Time to show some dance moves here. Look at Jana burning to a crisp. Set on fire. Not even a monsoon can put that one out. Fofo next on the target is Shanji. Just walks through them oh, all. Oh, he's a machine. It's a massacre. And Fotix sweeps it up. Rockets galore. It's time to get excited as we go to game three. Well, it looks like WE, they've had enough of dancing. They've exited on stage right. And then IP, it takes two to tango, but they find it only takes one to boogie in this one. Game two, very handily going the side of NIP. Team fights were spectacular in this one. I don't think we should be seeing Rumble for Shanji again. I don't think we should be seeing Talia for Rookie. 
Fantastic game number two from NIP snowballing like crazy. A 28 minute it's game three time. Problem NIP is, if you're playing versus Team WE. Versus scaling carry, uh, the enemy team has the Rex and the Mundo, which are tankier than the Renex and ganged up on later than that point. Aki's now coming in to uh, protect the rest of this. Rookie's still a little bit afraid, I think, of maybe a, uh, a flash play coming in while he's under turret. Now he's flashing onto Fofo. All big damage coming on through the roots should set Fofo up. The root does land despite the shuffle, and Fofo falls first blood to Aki. Oh, Fofo falls on his face face. He's fine with the dancing <laughs> grenade. Uh, enough <laughs> match in though, let's talk about NIP setting up this Drake and I won the. We talked about him being an influence for There's WE. Package, He's though. on a flank right now, but. Rookie's found him. Package available. I wonder he could be in trouble, but Rookie going all the way around here. Botic stepping forwards. Wave going to be used to try and deny any follow-up. Fofo forced away and stay down in that bottom side. Rookie gets in with the package. And Fofo annihilated. Double bubble from Dwo. As Votic looks for more under the tower. Shanji flashes under, but the rest of the team isn't actually here yet. Stay does go down. He's cut to pieces by Shanji. Who needs teammates? Rookie showing on the other side of that fight too. And I peep get themselves an important objective to make sure that W aren't just stacking up dragons on the bot side and they get some good gold onto particularly oh, tall peak quite deep from wayward. This won't be spotted just yet. As Aki spots that ward, Jwo gonna help him clear it out. But Jwo and Aki are alone here, and Wayward's behind them. Jwo doesn't get caught by the knockup though. Wayward can't find here his Rookie, he has package. It will still be Drake taken by WE. Slow to pick up the package and to stop that dragon going down. So that's gonna be unfortunate. They do get mid lane out of turret though, so that will be a fine rec um, record. Known as the V team curse, where there was V5 and another team called V3, which plays in Japan. And when V5 were the best team in the LPL. Uh, for a short time. V3 went on like a record-breaking loss streak. We'll have to stop that. Here comes the fight. Fotik's gonna go down. He nearly takes stay with him though. Almost turns it around. In the meantime, Wayward's onto Juo, who flashes to safety and heals himself up. One pick in the Very end. Very much in the point of dominance. Now WE, I think they have the combat stats to really start fighting back. And particularly now Shanji is in a difficult position too. This is awkward for him. Eing forwards into the wave just as WE start to play on the bottom side. Fofo in danger though. Rookie nearly finishes that kill off and actually he has a lot of damage at this point. Malignant's finished off. Wayward forced out but he can't quite finish a kill. Now to the mid lane we go. His NIP desperately flail Problem around. Problem on this Rex side. He's so hard for NIP to kill. At seven seconds on that respawn as the Drake is just being burned down here. Stay has so much DPS at this point. As Fotic dives forward, but Fofo just trades onto him. Wave across the Wayward. team. Wayward's in the middle of everyone, and Fotic goes down. Wayward, the assassin tank on the back line. Shanji trying to do the same, but his champion was made in season one. NIP now desperate to escape. Right, it's so. too far. I'm not sure there's a lot that Rookie can do about this one. He's trying to step up, has a big one in the chamber. Hung is getting fairly low, and that's a bit of damage, but instantly healed back up because he's Dr. Mundo. Rookie is getting some good work done. Maybe some picks off at the back of the play. Baron taken by WE, but everyone just flashing or dashing or tunneling or whatever. Well, let's see if they can get themselves a good delivery at this point. Throwing out ults just left, right, and center. NIP, there is no direction to the ults they're throwing out here. I mean, they've got ourselves a pick on bot side, but I don't think Wayward is going to die here. He's a tank wreck side. He's just going to start 1v2ing. Yeah, he's almost winning that one, but he stayed too long. He got too confident, but Shanji was baited in, and the wreck side escapes away once again. Shanji still surviving somehow as a pick on to stay. WE forced back now as NIP have a moment to capitalize. That's two fights in a row that stay goes down. Down, and now NIP grab a Drake. Yeah, the Dragon didn't follow the last confrontation. You can see that Shanji really well played around his Rage Bar and the Eclipse for the shielding. It means that he... And it does feel like, yes, we've had an Azir versus Corky game. And yes, it's been a bit of a slow one. But we're getting to the point of the game now where we're headed towards three items. And that's where these matchups really kick off. Fotic already on the three on the Lucian as well. No Baron on the map for now. It's timing out for WE. They've not really got a whole lot done with that buff. Not a huge amount, but they have allowed the game to stall out while NIP have been struggling to make plays. They cancel the teleport. Wait, is Aki going to die for this, though? I don't know. As he tries to go in to deny this play, he ends up going down. Juwon 
looking for these bubbles, looking to save his jungler. I mean, I'm not going to not as long at this point in the game, so should still be up by the time we have a fight for this Baron. I don't really expect either team to try and force things. I say that, TP oh, for oh. Wayward, behind enemy lines. Photon could be in trouble, or maybe just Juo gets the knockoff. Juo flashes straight onto it, but it's one for one so far, as Iwandi just gets one shot. Man, it's Wayward once again being part of that real initiation to flank threat. The unseed submarine from the side. It's going to be a support for support. I really feel like, though, that this where they could happen out of vision from Wayward is a big problem. You all getting caught out there. And the fact that the there's flash. always room for misplay and punishment. Rookie on the wrong side of things here. Is going to be a kind of corralling. And because Wayward into the play, Wayward just dives across, but Rookie's there with a package to try and answer. It's way too little, and it's way too late. Stay able to clean things up as Rookie forced out by Hung. Wayward looking to chase as well as Rookie forced out of the play. And in the meantime, Fofo was pushing this whole time. NIP fall apart around the Baron. It feels like when the game slows down, WE just settle into this dominant style of play. In a matchup that we thought that NIP should be coming in, feeling pretty confident about. WE are proving that to be a lot more closer than we potentially thought. WE dominant game three after it slowed down. My goodness, WE are coming out of the woodwork. Not only do they take their first series of playoffs against OMG, now 2-1 up against NIP, the underdogs uh, in Are the you draw, ready for the game four? Jacks. Oh, no, rather like the Jacks. NIP really versus better. Team exactly. WE. Let's go. Those duos, because if you play it right, you get your W Back. as Aki takes Dragon on bot side. So Aki will grab that objective. Vision is there for both teams on the grub, so Hung starts that one up, but NIP will have it. Well, the first one's gone over, and the first one gives the double XP. That's the important thing. He gets two with the smite. He has himself, maybe might have flash, um, Throwing here actually, Rookie's trying to cut him off. What's gonna happen here? Well, flashes actually goes on to Rookie, but Aki flashes into the plate as well. Hung knocked up. There's the stun to follow it up. Can they actually finish the job? Red buff tick it away. And Rookie finishes off first blood. Bad it's the worst strategy. At least got that early push and got some value out of it. Um need to really see what happens around this top side matchup from Wayward. He has been a very strong frontline force team on the Rex side. He might get him 2v1 here. The Renexus Sajwani, very powerful combo, Dominus Pop. Here we go, W, not going to buff for any of the CC, never mind, buff for it, he's one shot. <sighs> oh my word, Wayward gets absolutely... Now the thing is, early in the split when Azir, before the, 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 the good days of Azir being disabled uh, came through, um, <laughs> Azir being put into a side lane with Grubs was really powerful, because you get towards Nash's Tooth first item a lot of the time, um, and then you just get to hit a side lane turret with the Grub buff, Azir is already massively good at killing those side lane turrets, you get a lot of gold for it, Wayward against the Ghost popped up here, now you're going to get, you know, multiple grubs taken from WE. Need to see Fofo get the ability to hit some turrets. Feels like he's the one person who's going to get both good sides, You still expect Jinx to be getting prior, but uh, Fotick had stepped away to grab himself a little red buff there, and we'll be able to maintain presence. It's like, oh, you can have a red buff. Okay, you know, you've been a good AD carry this game. Get yourself a red buff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, rookie forced to flash here. Fofo's going to follow it as well. Iwandi's here. He's trying to set up the kill for his mid laner. Fofo needs to take Ooh, all, save. he arrives and saves the day. Rocking in from downtown. Fotic cleaning things up as Fofo will fall. And what looked beautiful for WE falls apart in seconds. Oh, Aki, the hero from the jungle, comes in to save the... A real carry of this team for so much of this split. Rookie, Aki Go coming in. Put Rookie back into top lane now. I'm going to go back into a replay to see how it happens. See that Iwandi on the roam. Doesn't quite hit himself the, the Q, but the slows is enough to at least force Rookie into a difficult position. He can't quite get behind Rookie to shunt him oh. back with the ult. Back into live though. Shanji in a 1v3. Uh, I was going to say a dive, but they're just between towers here. Shanji can't even get the sustain off, just take it down. Nice bit of map play from WE, catching out the enemy solo laner as Rookie tries to trade in the top side. But Fofo's on the top. Oh no, the plays fell off. Fofo doesn't oh. get any of the plate gold. Oh, that's a shame. They're still going to get themselves first turret down there because again, it's the Azir on the turret. But still, that's kind of lazy from NIP. You can't split the map that well, especially since you don't have the Dominus on Shanji to be safer in that, do in that, um, in that bot side, kind of weak side of the map. At least Rookie is going to get himself 
turret on this top side as Recompense kills an entire wave to that one. But just while we were saying, hey, you know, it would have been a fantastic yeah, moment as well, thinking about it again, um, in terms of just what uh, we've been seeing from Jim's builds recently. Do you get the Herald uh, into that turret? And if you do start popping off with the lethal tempo and then the extra attack speed as well, it's very, very hard to stop this champion from killing your squishies. You're just killing that first target, which is going to be the problem. Dragon has spawned WE. They have themselves ults. They have themselves a pick, though, onto their own players. Nice combo. Hung taken down. NIP making it look easy as Hong just kind of walks into all five of them, flicked back by Rookie, and uh, set up beautifully. That's going to be three traits in NIP. <laughs> that is. He's got a teleport to go back, regen, and come back into the play, but it doesn't stop the fact that NIP are walking forwards, throwing down vision in the enemy jungle, and just throwing more rocks under this tower as well. Mid lane out of turret slowly broken down. NIP taking a very important player on the mountain soul, which is coming up in 30 seconds, so maybe a missed opportunity there. And does kind of mirror some of our opinions about how NIP have not necessarily closed out games through objectives as well as potentially with like in the late game. Uh -oh. They now have the face check though, and this could definitely help NIP. No ultimate available this time for Wayward, and Dominus is there for Shanji. He might just go down. Quickness gonna be used by Juo. Sets up for the finish from Shanji. And Shanji and absolutely ups. winning the top matchup. This time, Hung's caught out in the meantime. Elsewhere on the map, and NIP, two picks right as Dragon Soul spawns. That is perfect. We may be eyeing down. Do. Oh, look at this flank. Oh, okay. Rookie doesn't quite find the knockback. And Fofo trades back onto him. But there's no smite here for WE. So it will be Drake taken. Mountain Soul. And now Draw can dive into the action. Staying Fofo forced away. But Shanshi is behind enemy lines. And he's diving onto the backline. Fofo pushes him under the tower. But it just doesn't matter. It's a stats diff at this point. On top of a numbers diff. It's on top of an NIP diff. Life picture. WE feeling the pressure here. The fact that you're staying around 3v4 without a jungler kind of shows the amount of pressure that they were feeling to try and contest this. Uh, but oh, in the meantime, he's dead again. Oh, it's been caught out and another ult lands onto Bofo. Forced away the rocket, hits onto both carries too. Hung gives over the reset as the rocket flies on by. Nearly kills the wolf <laughs> as they've come out of their pit to join in the play. NIP absolutely destroying them. They're not. They're still in their pajamas. <laughs> Haven't even needed to get into their business wear for this one. They get themselves roll out of bed and slam in a five game series, all the more likely against Team WE. It's another fight. Again, it's not going to be the end of the game here and now. But with Outside of a monumental throw, this one is in the bag. And it feels like Rookie's Talia is a very key part of that equation, but also Shanji having a good matchup in that top NIP lane. really just tearing this game apart. Oh, and they've even found a little bonus onto Fofo with the bottom side. He zips back in to try and do something to Fotic, but it just is not happening. Yeah. And my goodness, I will say, this series, while it's close in terms of the series overall, the individual games have been very one-sided today. It, it takes a little while, and uh, do you reckon if Fofo gets hit by another ult from Sejuani, he becomes Froyo instead? Bit of a bit of a chill treat. Um, I guess uh, I'm lactose intolerant, so I'm not not a big fan <laughs> of the frozen yogurt-based humor. Uh, it makes my wow. Tummy hurt. Thanks. I tried that. I tried really hard there. Fofo can't really <laughs> try much harder in this game. He doesn't really have the items, and he doesn't exactly have a life right now. Yeah, feels like. Uh, bit more of a Frodo because it feels like he's playing with nine fingers at this point. <laughs> uh, that's a bit unfair because I don't think Fofo's had that bad of a series. In the meantime, Fotic is just cleaning house here. I want to be taken down using the Jinx Excite to uh, finish things off to snowball these fights. In the meantime, Shanji pushing up top. And I mean, <laughs> look, when NIP are winning the games, they are clean with it. You have to admit. They are. Um, I feel like both these teams, it's and therefore, really, based on how the early game and the draft goes, a lot of the time, if the NIP, if the NIP um, early game goes well with the composition that they're happy with, they're pretty good at closing it out, uh, it, which is something that we've had some um, concerns about coming through about the teams. Okay, they get themselves some leads. Can they close it out? Feels like with the drafts becoming a little bit more comfortable and removing some matchups away from Iwandi and Wayward, they've managed to find a way under W skin. That's not going to be another frozen treat for NIP as the ult goes wide from Aki, but they still have themselves a push oh. into these first. Oh, okay, that's an engage. Fotic took a good chunk of damage there, but there's not really enough to finish the job, and he still survives. Aki keeps them away as Iwandi falls, and it is just a bit like. 
if the gold is less than 15,000 in favor of NIP, maybe that's a fight win for WE. No. But alas, <laughs> that is not the case, and Photic survives. Yeah, buried under the weight of NIP's bank accounts in this one. And you're just keeping up the siege. Fofo, you got to be careful there. Oh Another boy. crit comes through, and Photic will kill you. Got to be very careful. Has himself flashing. Sadly, doesn't have himself any team members to look for a shuffle play. It's going to be another inhib down uh, in the mid lane. They can go straight towards topside after this as well, but actually probably shouldn't, thinking about it. There's an uh, Elder up in 30 seconds. If they get themselves a reset. Stay. Basically a full item behind on the Jinx now. Or versus the Jinx, I should say. WE here, though. They're going to start this Elder off. This is the miracle that they need, Ooh, but that ow. ain't I want the court again. As he goes down, and it's the Drake to finish the job. One last blast as NIP charge on forwards in the series. The wall comes out as Rookie actually stunned out of it. Wayward keeps the mid laner out of the fight, but I don't think it's going to matter. As Fotic is untouched elsewhere, Redemption comes on through to keep NIP going, but Wayward has actually found one kill, and Stay is stacking up. Surely this isn't how it ends. NIP forced away. They do survive, but Elder now started by WE. It's not the first time we've seen Atalia interrupted, and now Rookie won't be here for the fight. Going down to a flip for Elder. Oh god, it's too tense. Hung is there. Aki jumps into the pit, and he gets it. No! NIP denied. Aki can't find it. And WE get Elder. While this is happening, there are two waves of super minions taking down the Nexus turrets of WE, but Jana shields in the turret oh, no. just about. Baron going to be taken by WE. Shot. This is going to get one shot, but you don't want to play against the Elder anyway. Realistically, NIP, I don't think they want to be fighting for this. They want to stop recalls at best. Another objective bounty claimed by WE. Resets can come on through here. I don't think Aki can do... Against John or against the Emperor's Divide. Shanji's job is going to get harder. Wayward, he's getting towards three, four items. going to get easier for him. NIP, they're waiting until us uh, see if they can yeah. get themselves um, an inhib against the Baron buff. WE, they can potentially look for a flank now with Wayward on the side. It's a game of finishing the job. Oh, knockup does land onto Aki. That's a good bit of damage as Wayward threatening on the backside of the play. Aki's still alive here as Redemption comes in. Wayward buffering CC, getting the knockbacks. Juo next on the target. It's two kills for Stay. NIP struggling to end games all split long. And now, as they're pushed to the brink, Stay takes down Fotic and WE make another miracle. NIP have taken down three in hips in this game, maybe even more than that, but they can't take down the damn Nexus. NIP, we've always criticized them for not finishing off the games when it felt like it's in their hands. WE, they still have objective bounties to take, but it doesn't matter. They're winning the fights. They stop that. Wait, I mean, Wavers just died on the other side, though. They need to be careful. He's just going to end the game. They have to reset because Wei would just go 1v1 by Shanji. Uh, I mean, this is yeah, just... WE on the other side. We thought that they could be promising too, particularly after mid-split. Fofo showing on the side lane, though. We've got Hung here too. Is there a turret to be put up? There's no Zonius here for Fofo. He gets up with a shuffle. Slides himself to safety, dodges the knock of Shanji, flashes in Emperor's Divide to keep him alive as long as possible. But the rocket flies on through, and Fofo is found. WE to punish, though, as both solo laners have sacrificed themselves to find the Azir. Shanji cannot survive and stay, doesn't go down. A knuckle comes through, but there's no damage because he was Fotic? in the GA. In the meantime, Fotic only just arriving. Shanji still going strong as Wei was on the backside. Fotic getting some resets here, but stay is still alive. It's 3v3 now. Absolute carnage in the top side, but NIP might just come out on top because Fotix getting his reset. That's two, make it three. Fotix finds four, and NIP push to five. NIP are made to fight for it, but they fight with bare knuckles. The ninjas can't find a clean assassination, but they will with bloodied lips find themselves towards a final game in this series. I don't think the Death Timers will do it. Five seconds left on Fofo. They still need to get through a turret. Maybe he can pull off something, but I just don't think it'll be enough. Short of a miracle, this one is done. Get excited for Fotic means he's got the damage to take the Fountain, to take the Nexus, and to push us to Silver Scrapes. NIP, they hang on and they push us further. Yeah. The final the game of the day. The fly, game right. 5, NIP versus Team WE. Have a Senhol and the Skies Descent on the same target. If NIP choose their angle well, obviously. Wayward going to be forced back. TP's back into that top lane. Shanji will be resetting as well. It's Drake taken by WE. And NIP answering with Grubs on the top side. So he can't get the unborrow. 
away with immediately him. slams them out. Here we go. Round two. Someone ring a bell because we're about to kick off again in this bottom side. This time, though, Joao on his own. Oh, oh no, he's close to wave. What are you doing? Not in game five. Not like this. Oh, and stay for the rookie on Team WE, who's honestly had a hell a of a test from WE. Because of that, they've taken the grubs on top side. No real point throwing yourself into the early game front line of NIP. Instead, they go for a cross map. Hung just wants to be under towers. That is his game plan today. And the ultimate used by Wayward to deny things. And actually, Shanji died before. I feel like if you dive back under tower, maybe something could have happened. But <sighs> WE, they get the dive and they'll get so many plays for it. I think Wayward ended up of, um, avoiding the stun. will finish this tower and he will not let any crocodile stop him. That's a big moment. That should have been. First turret being secured by NEP, potentially on the other side of the map. But uh, both sides now being staved and off. For first both teams. Rookie safely farming up in a side lane. That's important to note. It's they're definitely prioritizing this A Salt. Potentially see that Trundle pillar getting someone out. And Mal misses on the draw. Draw does manage to hook over towards the wall and actually gets a triple knock up stay. Caught out by Aki's ult as well. The damage isn't really there to follow up. His in comes Shanji. Shields across the team. Dominus to get him tanky, but he's not tanky enough. The sustain comes through, but he goes down in the end. The root won't land from Fotiki. The WE, another pick as Drake spawns. The NIP frontline just can't deal with the damage coming out of WE in the early game. Yeah, the center and the ace all the up. Here comes the ult, but it misses from Rookie. It actually just clips two, but I don't think it's enough. It saved Fotik, though. It kept them from going any deeper and finishing Fotik off. Wayward nearly picking him off himself there. But the Heralds charge mid lane, and actually, they can keep going through this one. Fofo gonna try and stop Rookie, but no. Gets through the wall anyway. Herald charges in the mid lane. I don't think they'll finish the tower. A little though. bit of help until they get a huge amount of stacks. And that's uh, that's going to be questionable in its own right whether W will let them do that. NIP making a play for top tier one tower. In the meantime, Wayward is playing opposite to trade. NIP I mean, is this guy been playing Helldivers or what? He just throws himself <laughs> into the enemy lines. Oh, I almost lost my mind and my voice seeing that. That could have been it so badly out of position in that one. It means that W get to push out on Dragon. Wayward oh, goes again. Oh, Fotix no flash because of the blast cone. And now they get onto everyone. Rookie has that ultimate available. Dashes over the wall, keeps himself alive, but Fotic gone. If it wasn't Drake before for WE, it certainly is now, and that'll be sole point. Oh man, NIP, they have lost this um, push of spears in this bot side jungle to go towards this dragon. WE, it's been like the rest of the games they've won. It has been more controlled. They've sat in an area of the map and they've trigger. They are proactive when it comes to their map plays, when it comes to macro, and outplaying the other team on the map. They're very happy to make things like that happen. I wonder. Trying to get creative with it, looking for a flank on that Rakan. Oh, Hung using the shroud? In. That's some big damage available from Rookie as well. Burning through the trundle, but he's damn tanky in his duo. That might just go down and send lightning from the sky, but it's answered with a meteor. Way we're trying to escape on the front line as Fofo trying to trade that damage back, but Shanshi's getting it. Probably we win themselves the soul, it feels like. I don't think an IP can get in in time. They can't teleport back in, they don't have those globals. The WE, they don't get the kills, but they get themselves the objective. To really, really uh, come to bat. We've got lots of items on both sides. If Wayward finds himself onto a backliner as well, make no mistake, Rek'Sai can sometimes struggle to stick to a target, but once he's Malarange, oh my word, he's going to do damage. Wayward. He's, the wall. he's spotted out, he's rooted down. Okay, bit of damage coming on through. Chuo flashes on the opposite side of the plate. Wayward's caught, and Wayward's down. Rookie finds the kill, and Chuo's hunting for a little bit more. Iwandi dives over the wall himself, but now NIP inside track towards the Baron. Time okay, and space for his carries, but it's Stay and Hung that the rest of NIP are hunting. Rookie over the wall. The Sky's Descend still available as he starts to burn through WE. The root comes through onto Hung. Aki here to follow it up, but that breath of light is all but darkness for WE. The ninjas work in the darkness, but their midliner brings a flickering flame of light. The soul, and he's carrying these fights. Huge one for NIP as they burn through the Baron. There's no contestion whatsoever from WE. They realize they can't fight for this one. Baron secured, an Elder so unkillable. The rest of this series. Not anymore. 20 seconds on Elder. NIP desperate to keep their playoff streams alive. This would be the furthest they've ever got as an organization. And Wayward forced away by Rookie on the ASOL. 
Drake oh, he about can teleport to back in. He can teleport back in, but will he be in time? Here comes the fight. He's not here. It's a huge pick, and it's Iwandi on his signature Rakan that goes down. Shanti's found the backside, but Fofo survives, and the spiraling spiral turned around. But Juo gets onto the rest of the carries, and Rookie burns them to a cinder. The stars collapse down around WE's ears. It's a quadra kill for Rookie, one of the best to ever do it. He gets the counter pick, and he destroys. Destroys WE. How fitting is it that in the year of the dragon, it's the dragon from the mid lane which sees NIP through to what we will assume to be a real heavenly matchup with the Phoenixes in the next round. Quadra kill for the mid laner pushing down mid lane. You thought this was the year of Smolder. No, no. This is the year of Asol. First Nexus Tower in trouble. Wayward gets some knockups. Can they finish the kill slow? The health bars down to half, but Botic survives. Wayward trying to tank up for his team. He might just have help. this all until the perfect moment. Doesn't want to give the game away. Doesn't want to use that resource. Elder started off by NIP now as WE. They've run out of time to scale. They've got to fight. They've got to hold onto this series. Rookie looking for the flank. This could be it from NIP, but no. Cancels the dash. Doesn't go in just yet. He's on a control ward, so they don't know where he is. Hung pulled in, but Wandi is behind them, and he's found Rookie. That's the knockup. The Comet falls, but it's not enough. Stay, dashes to the backside. He's low, and Aki finishes the job. The Sejuani dive, but Wayward takes out Rookie. And Hung now forced away from the play. Iwandi trying to survive, gets the heal, but he just goes straight down. Fotik is still firing. Fofo has to be the carry for WE. Wayward gets yet another knockup, and the Way has its moment to shine. Aki will be taken down and hung is still in the picture smite available we they will get elder dragon and nip flee with their tails between their legs oh, the GW! taken from the other side of the map as Dro desperate to escape but he's burning hung can't chase for more but we get elder fofo teleports back to the base to save nexus turrets but we we well, in a long time and they need to make it work here in spring, here in game five. Can they make it to round three? WE, off the back of that Elder, will secure themselves that apparent. Shanji answers it with a tier two in the bottom lane. They're really good at pinning one of these frontline members down. You see that WE, they're splitting across the map, trying to take the, uh, as many lanes of pressure as they can. And NIP, they need to just Through try and these towers, wave. Aki moving over towards this mid lane, they will be able to defend that inhibitor, but it should mean that the tier two in this bottom side goes down. Still a minute on the Baron. Perhaps WE can push for a little bit more. Party ultimate. They can enter the river through the safe part of it. But is it safe enough? Wayward on a flank. Iwandi on a flank. Votic oh no God. spell shield, but has cleansed. And the Elder has started. Couldn't be tenser. Here we go. Hung being burnt on the front line. Iwandi tries to get in, but he's forced out. Juo barely surviving with his own life as Hung steps forward on the front line. Wayward flanking once again, but he's stopped. He can't finish it off. The rail going to cross the team and Wayward out the top side of the fight. Baron. Uh, Elder, sorry, still at 8k as Shanji tries to find a flank now. NIP onto the objective. WE have to step up. Wayward Wayward's has back. sustained back to almost full HP. There's a reset and a TP coming on through from Juo. The front line regenerated. It's a smite Goes to Aki. Aki wins it. Hung will fall. Fofo is next. And after all of that, NIP take it on a 50-50. It's a flip for the series. It's a flip for their lives in NIP. They get the Elder, but can they get the wave into the enemy base? Wayward, he's trying to stop it. He doesn't manage to get the very last minion. NIP with these death timers, they're going to give it a good damn shot at finishing the game, and they should be able to do it. There's only one Nexus Tower. Who cares if you've got minions? I'm pretty sure five strong NIP can finish this one out. After five long games, they manage to finish the job. Rookie gets counter pick in game number five, and Rookie carries NIP to round three. They are bloodied, they are bruised, they are exhausted. But the ninjas in pajamas make it a full five game series.